Hey guys, how's it going? This is the first time recording with this new mic in my bedroom. Anyway, I um, am annoyed by this. I just uploaded this video showing how I up, I put all these Calvinist proof texts onto the website. And instantly there's some comments by a Calvinist here. And what does he do? He just he says predestination and he gives all these verse like these are all of his proof texts for it. And then he says original sin, and he gives all these verses. And I want to say that the issue here is, um, the issue here is not really original sin with the Calvinists, uh, because the Bible does teach original sin. The Bible does teach that uh, men are born with a sinful nature. And so that has nothing to do with Calvinism. The issue with Calvinism is to what extent, um, to the extent of the, the sinful nature, I guess. Uh, see, because I've said that they believe in total inability, that men are so sinful that they are unable to come to God. And, um, but then I said that you have to take a step back and you have to realize that Calvinism really starts with unconditional election that God decreed who would be saved and who would be lost and so total inability is just kind of like a, a consequence of that doctrine and I don't know why you know if they, they it's kind of deceiving that they want to start with total inability I don't know if that's just because you know it makes nice for the TULIP acronym or what but the truth is that Calvinism starts with unconditional election, and I hope that you realize that. If you're talking to a Calvinist, then you really need to, to go with that point. But realize that original sin is not the issue. And um, I've talked about that before, how Kerrigan Skelly and a lot of other false teachers, they want to attack Calvinism, and they make themselves to be fools because they're going to attack original sin. They attack original sin, and they attack the sinful nature. And they try to say, well, this is what Calvinism teaches, that man has a sinful nature, and that it's false. No, they are false, because the Bible does teach a sinful nature. The Bible does not teach that men cannot, um, <clears throat> that men are unable to come to God. Uh, so, the issue is the total inability, and it's kind of the same thing with eternal security. People want to attack Calvinism because of eternal security. But yet, the Bible teaches eternal security, so that's not really the issue with Calvinism. But, uh, so this is like a fallacy, that if a Calvinist says, you know, if they're trying to, you got to realize that total inability and original sin are like two separate, two different ideas, There, there's some distinctions in between them. So... Hopefully I wasn't confusing to you, but I'm just going to end it here. God bless.